back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing 10, is it 10? Today I'm showing you guys 11 outfits for back to school for when you have nothing to wear. Hopefully this video helps you guys out and most of these clothing items you probably will have in your closet. I'm not sure how strict your dress code is, but there should be at least one outfit in here that fits your dress code unless you're just a savage and wanna break the rules. So that's for you to decide. Let's get into this video. This first outfit is my casual but cute outfit. It's really simple. I'm just starting off with a striped bodysuit and some jeans that I'm cuffing up to give my ankles more shape. And then since the rest of this outfit is so simple, I added these really intense platform shoes. They're literally like three inches high. This is just a classic outfit that you could go to any day of the week. next look I like to call my clueless look because not only is it inspired by the movie but also that's kind of what we all are in school clueless I'm wearing a skirt which I didn't think I'd be into but it's so cute because it looks like a skirt in the front and then in the back you can tell that it's a shorts you don't have to worry about wearing shorts underneath and anyone seeing anything I'm also wearing a lettuce edge black mock neck top that I think completes the look and then keeping it kind of neutral I'm just wearing some ankle high socks and regular white sneakers this next look I call my Oreo outfit because I'm wearing black and white in it and I was too scared to play with colors the corduroy dress would have been kind of plain without having the white shirt underneath so you could either add a colored shirt and wear matching sneakers and if you guys are allowed to wear it I added this tan bucket hat just because the dress is corduroy and so is the bucket hat this next look I call orange because that's what I'm wearing. With the orange plaid and the skirt and the orange top, I think it looks really put together even though it doesn't take much to make a matching outfit with colors. I also just added some white shoes to kind of balance it out a little bit. I didn't want the shoes to take away from the look. This next look is I don't want to wear pants and I also don't want to wear shorts, so I have to settle for leggings look. This is a really easy outfit to put together. Just take a comfy t-shirt and your favorite pair of leggings and to make the look a little bit cooler, you can tie your t-shirt into a knot just to bring in your waist a little bit and show off them curves. And then to add a little statement piece to the look, I'm wearing those extremely high platform sneakers. This next look is my pop of color look. I'm taking this pretty plain outfit that I kind of look like a muscle builder in and I'm adding a really cool red statement jacket. I'm adding this clear belt with silver detailing to add a little bit more structure to the look and then putting on my platform sneakers. This next look is one of my favorite looks even though I was too scared to wear something like this during school and it's called the I will stomp on your face look. I think it's really cool and edgy if this is more your style. Instead of just wearing a black top and shorts, I added this really cool mesh long sleeve underneath and the platform black boots, of course, just give me boss woman energy. This next outfit I like to call the delicious denim. The focus around this outfit is pretty much around the blue denim skirt. I think it's so cute. So I'm wearing a white bodysuit with it and to spice things up, I'm adding some black platform boots. The look is kind of cutesy before you add these, but once you add these, it gives a really cool edgy vibe to the look. And then to add continuity with the colors, I'm adding a black belt with some silver detailing. You definitely don't have to do this. Now moving on to the everyday outfit. This is something that I would wear a lot just because I was too lazy to actually put together outfits. So I would take a really comfy t-shirt, some denim mom shorts, and to make the look more put together, I would tuck in the shirt, pull it out in the front a little bit, and then I would take a cool accessory like a belt. I also added my platform sneakers to make it a little more cool. Now is my Wrecking Ball inspired outfit. If memory serves me right, Miley Cyrus wore all white in her Wrecking Ball music video. Well, she was also naked. Um, that's not what we're gonna do for this look. She also wore all white in the music video when she was wearing clothes, so that's where my inspiration came from. I'm taking this all white outfit that might be too dangerous to wear just because if you sit somewhere dirty, then you're kind of done. But if you're into the all white, take an all white outfit and then add a really cool statement jacket. Mine is a denim one. I also added my little bucket hat to add more details to the look and that's about it. And now for the classic all black outfit. I feel like you can never go wrong with all black, so I'm taking this really cute kind of blouse top and pairing it with some black jeans. Originally, I tried adding my black platform boots, but the look just didn't feel right with it. I felt like my legs looked they were just going on forever. So instead of going for black shoes, I opted for my white shoes. <laughs> 
All right, guys, those are all the outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully there's something that you would choose to wear and that this video helped you guys out. If you stayed to the end, first of all, you're amazing. And second of all, comment down below a whale emoji because they're cool. Here's today's merch bread babe of the week. You guys are amazing. If you didn't know, I do have merch. So that's always linked in the down bar if you guys want to shop Ava Jewels. I love you guys so much. Ah, my work, my work is done. done. I just dragged my bed from this corner of the room to make room and now I'm gonna wipe the bottom of my shoes because I don't wear shoes in the house and this is weird. Just this once, just for you. Ew, setting it. That's as good as it's gonna get. Bye.